Yeah, welcome back everybody. Today we're solving as many as possible questions on integration. Let's go through the list of integrals first. This is a list of standard integrals. Yeah, you just go through that list. Yeah, all right. Now let's go straight to it. We take the first example. Evaluate the integral of. Evaluate the integral of x raised to power five over two with respect to x. That's the same as x raised to power five over two plus one, which is seven over two, divided by seven over two plus c. And that simply means two over seven x raised to power. 7 over 2 plus c. We go to the next evaluate the integral of 3 divided by x raised to the power 5 with respect to x. This is the same as the integral of 3 x raised to the power minus 5 with respect to x. And that simply means 3 x raised to the power minus 4 divided by minus 4 plus c which is the same as minus 3 over 4 x raised to the power minus 4 plus c we move on the next is evaluate the integral of the square root of x cubed with respect to x this is the same as the integral of x raised to the power 3 over 2 with respect to x and that simply means x raised to the power 5 over 2, 3 over 2 plus 1 is 5 over 2, divided by 5 over 2 plus c. And that means 2 over 5, x raised to the power 5 over 2 plus c. Now to the next, evaluate the integral of 3x cubed plus 2x squared minus x minus 5 with respect to x that's the same as that means 3x is power 4 over 4 plus 2x is power 3 over 3 minus minus x squared over 2 minus 5x plus c and we go to the next evaluate the integral of x raised to power 5 x raised to power 5 plus 3 with respect to x that's the same as x raised to power 6 over 6 plus 3x plus c we go to the next evaluate the integral of x cubed x cubed plus 3x squared minus 2x with respect to x this is the same as x raised to the power 4 over 4 plus 3x 3x cubed over 3 minus 2x squared over 2 plus c and that's equal to 1 over 4x raised to the power 4 plus x cubed minus x squared plus c the next is evaluate the integral of x raised to the power 4 plus 3x cubed minus 4x divided by divided by x squared with respect to x this is the same as the integral of x squared plus 3x minus 4 over x 
with respect to minus 4 over x with respect to x and that's the same as x raised to the power 3 over 3 x raised to the power 3 over 3 plus 3x squared over 2 minus 4 lean x plus c we know that the integral of 1 over x is lean x so that's minus 4 lean x now we write on the next is evaluate the integral of x squared into brackets 3x squared plus 4x with respect to x this is the same as the, the integral of 3x raised to the power 4 plus 4x raised to the power 3 with respect to x and that's equal to 3x raised to the power 5 over 5 plus 4x raised to the power 4 over 4 plus c and that's equal to 3 over 5 x raised to the power 5 plus x raised power 4 plus c and we go to the next evaluate the integral of x squared minus 1 divided by x with respect to x this is the same as the integral of x minus 1 over x with respect to x which is equal to x squared over 2 minus lean x plus c we go to the next what do we have here this is the evaluate the integral of evaluate the integral of x plus 5 times 3x minus 2 with respect to x this is the same as the integral of 3x squared plus 13x <coughs> plus 13x minus 10 with respect to x and that's equal to 3x cubed over 3 plus 13x squared over 2 minus 10x plus c and then we go to the next evaluate the integral of evaluate the integral of 7 over 2x minus evaluate the integral of 7 over 5x 5x minus 4 raised to the power 5 with respect to x to do this let's make u 5x minus 4 and that implies that du dx is 5 and dx du dx is 5 and dx is du over 5 so we are putting du dx we're pu putting u and dx in the integrand that means the integral of 7 over 5x minus 4 raised to the power 5 with respect to x is the same as the integral of 7 over u raised to the power 5 times du over 5 and that is same as where du over 5 is dx that is same as 7 over 5 multiplied by the integral of 1 over u raised to the power 5 with respect to u and that means 7 over 5 multiplied by the integral of u raised to the power minus 5 with respect to u which means 7 over 5 times u raised to the power minus 4 divided by minus 4 plus c and this simply means minus 7 over 20 u raised to the power minus 4 plus c 
where u is 5x minus 4 so that means minus 7 over 20 times 5x minus 4 raised to power minus 4 plus c we go straight to the next evaluate the integral of sine x minus 5 cos x sine x minus 5 cos x with respect to x that's the same as minus cos x minus 5 sine x plus c and we go to the next evaluate the integral of evaluate the integral of 3 over 3 divided by 4 x plus 1 with respect to x this is the same as 3 multiplied by the integral of 1 over 4 x plus 1 with respect to x and this simply means this simply means 3 times the integral of uh, let's write this times the integral of okay 4 over 4 times 1 over 4x plus 1 with respect to x and that's the same as 3 over 4 multiplied by the integral of 4 over 4x plus 1 with respect to x and we can now see that the numerator 4 is the derivative of the denominator 4 x plus 1 and that simply means 3 over 4 lean 4 x plus 1 plus c note the integral of f prime of x of a rational function f prime of x divided by f of x with respect to x is the same as lean f of x plus c now we write on evaluate the integral of the square root of 9 minus x squared with respect to x this is the same as i can write this as the integral of the square root of 3 squared minus x squared dx and that's equal to x over x over 3 sorry that's the same as x over 2 multiplied by 3 squared which is 9 minus x squared plus 3 squared which is 9 over 2 multiplied by the sine inverse of x multiplied by the sine inverse of x over 3 plus c the standard for that is recall this is the standard the integral of the square root of a squared minus x squared with respect to x is the same as x over 2 multiplied by the square root of a squared minus x squared plus a squared over 2 plus a squared over 2 sine inverse of x over a plus c so that's the standard Evalu the next is evaluate the integral of evaluate the integral of evaluate the integral of 3x divided by the square root of x squared plus 1 with respect to x here we can see that x is contained in the derivative of x squared plus 1 so the substitution u equals x squared plus 1 is very appropriate that means du dx is equal to 2x and dx itself is du divided by 2 x 
then we can substitute the integral of 3x divided by the square root of x squared plus 1 with respect to x is equal to the integral of 3x divided by the square root of u times du over 2x where du over 2x is dx and this simply means um, this simply means 3 over 2 divided by 1 over square root of u with respect to u and that is 3 over 2 multiplied by the integral of u raised to power minus half with respect to u and that means 3 over 2 times u raised to power half minus half plus 1 is half divided by half plus c which is the same as 3u which is the same as 3u raised to power half plus c where u is where u is x squared plus 1 and that means 3 that means 3 times x squared plus 1 raised to the power half plus c x plus 1 raised to the power half plus c let's write on the next is evaluate the integral of 5 sine x plus 3x cubed 5 sine x plus 3x cubed dx this is the same as this is the same as 5 times minus cos x plus 3x raised to the power 4 over 4 plus c which is the same as minus 5 cos x plus 3 over 4 x raised to the power 4 3 over 4 x is power 4 plus c and then we write on the next one is evaluate the integral of evaluate the integral of cos 2x cos 9x with respect to x this is the same as cos 9x this is the same as this is the same as sine 9x divided by 9 plus c. And the rule here is when you are integrating a function of a linear function of x, just integrate normally and divide by the coefficient of x. So the next is evaluate the integral of sine 3 over 5x with respect to x. This is the same as when you integrate sine you get cos that's minus cos 3 over 5 x divided by 3 over 5 which is times 5 over 3 plus c and that's equal to that's equal to minus 5 over 3 cos 3 over 5 x plus c now to the next evaluate the integral of evaluate the integral of x cos 2x squared x cos 2x squared with respect to x here we can see that we can see that x is contained in the derivative of 2x squared so the substitution u equals 2x squared is going to be very appropriate let u be 2x squared that implies that du dx is the same as 4x and dx is the same as du over 4x so we substitute that means the integral of x cos 2x squared with respect to x is the same as the integral of 
x cos u dx which is the same as du of 4x and there we go that means of course x cancels x and then we are left with 1 over 4 multiplied by the integral of cos u du which means 1 over 4 1 over 4 sine u plus c where u is 2x squared so that's 1 over 4 sine 2x squared plus c let's write on what's the next what are we taking next evaluate the integral of x squared multiplied by the square root of x cubed plus 5 with respect to x the we can see also that x squared is contained in the derivative of x cubed plus 5 so our substitution is u equals x cubed plus 5 and that implies that du dx is equal to 3x squared and dx is equal to du divided by 3x squared which implies that the integral of x squared multiplied by the square root of x cubed plus 5 with respect to x is the same as the integral of x squared multiplied by the square root of u times dx which is the same as du over 3x squared so du over 3x squared and we can see that x squared cancels x squared and then we are left with 1 over 3 multiplied by the integral of u raised power how with respect to u and that means 1 over 3 times u raised power 3 over 2 divided by 3 over 2 plus c which means which means 1 which means 2 over 9 u raised power 3 over 2 2 over 9 times u raised power 3 over 2 plus c and that's the same as 2 over 9 2 over 9 times x cubed plus 5 because that is u raised to power 3 over 2 plus c and then we go to the next What's the next evaluate the integral of evaluate the integral of x squared e raised to power x cubed dx our substitution is u equals x cubed because as usual we can see that x squared is contained in the derivative of x cubed and that means du dx is equal to 3x squared du dx equals 3x squared and dx equals du over 3x squared that implies that the integral of x squared e raised to power x cubed with respect to x is the same as the integral of x squared e raised to power u multiplied by dx which is du over 3x squared and what does that mean x squared cancels x squared and then we have 1 over 3 multiplied by the integral of e raised to power u du which means 1 over 3 e raised to power u plus c which is the same as 1 over 3 e raised to power x cubed 1 over 3 e raised to power x cubed plus c now let's write on let's write on evaluate the integral of evaluate the integral of evaluate the integral of 
x squared plus 1. Let's go to that. x squared plus 1 divided by x cubed plus 3x minus 4 with respect to x. This is the same as this is the same as the integral of let me write this this way this is the same as the integral of 3 over 3 times x squared plus 1 divided by x cubed plus 3x plus 3x minus 4 with respect to x which means 1 over 3 I can write it as 1 over 3 multiplied by the integral of 3x squared. That's multiplied the numerator by the numerator x squared plus 1 by 3. 3x squared plus 3 divided by x cubed plus 3x minus 4 with respect to x. And that is, we can now say that the numerator is the derivative of the denominator. The numerator 3x squared plus 3 is the derivative of the denominator x cubed plus 3x minus 4. So that means 1 over 3 lean x cubed plus 3x minus 4 plus c. Now to the next, evaluate the integral of cot 2x dx. This is the same as integral of 1 over tan 2x dx, which means the integral of cos 2x divided by sine 2x dx. And that's the same as, let's see, 2 over 2 multiplied by cos 2x divided by sine 2x with respect to x and this is the same as 1 over 2 multiplied by the integral of 2 cos 2x divided by sine sine 2x dx and that's simply 1 over 2 lean lean sine 2x plus c now to the next because we, we can see that the num this numerator is the derivative of the denominator so to the next the integral evaluate the integral of what are we taking here dx divided by 9 plus x squared with respect to x this is the same as this is the same as 1, this is equal to 1 over 1 over 3, 1 over 3 tan, 1 over 3 tan inverse of x over 3 plus c. Let me remind, let me remind you of the standard. The standard is the integral of 1 over a squared plus a squared dx is the same as 1 over a multiplied by the tan inverse of x over a plus c and in our question a is 3 now to the next evaluate the integral of evaluate the integral of which one am i taking 1 over square root of 1 minus x squared dx and that's the same as that's the same as sine inverse of x x over a that's x over one which is the same as sine inverse of x sine inverse of x plus c remember the standard is the integral of integral of this this is the integral of 1 over root a squared minus x squared 
with respect to x is equal to sine inverse of x over a plus c and in that example a is 1 now to the next evaluate the integral of 1 divided by the square root of 25 minus 4x squared I can write this this way the integral of 1 over square root of 5 squared minus 2x squared with respect to x with respect to x which means which means sine inverse sine inverse of x x is 2x here over a a is 5 plus c sine inverse of 2x over 5 plus c yeah we write on evaluate the integral of evaluate the integral of sec no? evaluate the integral of 2x over x squared plus 3 2x divided by x squared plus 3 with respect to x and that's the same as the lean of x squared plus 3 plus c x squared plus 3 plus c we go to the next evaluate the integral of evaluate the integral of what could that be evaluate the integral of sine 5x i think i should take that evaluate the integral of sine 5x sine 4x sine 5x sine 5x sine 4x with respect to x now before we do this let's remind ourselves of this cos a plus b is the same as cos a cos b minus sine a sine b and at the same time cos a minus b is the same as cos a cos b plus sine a sine b plus sine a sine b now if i subtract equation 2 from 1 what i actually want to do is to make sine a sine b the subject you know find the definition for sine a sine b that means cos a plus b minus cos a minus b is equal to minus 2 of course this will cancel this is equal to minus 2 sine a sine b so this simply means 2 sine a sine b 2 sine a sine b is the same as cos a minus b minus cos a plus b minus cos a plus b which means sine a sine b is the same as cos a minus b minus cos a plus b divided by divided by 2 now this is what we need so that means this one that simply means the integral of sine let's paste that here the integral of that simply means the integral of sine sine 5x sine 4x is the same as here a is this is a a is 5x and b is 4x 
So that means cos 5x minus 4x, which is x minus cos 5x plus 4x, which is 9x over 2. That's the integral of that. And this is that's the same as 1 over 2. Let me write the integral sign properly. That's the same as 1 over 2 multiplied by the integral of cos x minus cos 9x with respect to x, which simply means 1 over 2 times 1 over 2, which simply means 1 over 2 sine x minus 1 over 2 times sine 9x divided by 9 plus c and that's the same as 1 over 2 sine x minus minus 1 over 18 sine 9x plus c now to the next evaluate the integral of evaluate the integral of cos Cos raised by 4x. Cos raised by 4x sine cubed x with respect to x. Now here, whenever you are, you want to integrate a product of, uh, whenever you want to integrate a product of powers of cosine and sine, this is what you do. I think I should just write that. This is what you do to integrate a product of select to integrate a product of powers of cosine, let's say cos raised by mx sine raised by n x with respect to x, where m and n are, m and n are integers. You use the substitution u equals cos u equals cos x u equals cos x when n is odd and u equals sin x when n is u equals sin x when m is odd when m is odd so that's what we are applying here that means and here we can see that this is here we can see that this is n and this is m so here n is odd so we are using the substitution u equals let me take this out before we go we are using the substitution u equals cos x so i'm going to say let u be cos x and that implies that du dx is the same as sine x and dx itself is the same as du over sine x. Now we substitute, that implies that the integral of cos raised by 4x sine cubed x with respect to x is the same as the integral of u raised power 4 u raised power 4 sine cubed x multiplied by dx which is du over sine x now that means the integral of u raised power 4 sine cubed x divided by sine x is the same as sine squared x sine squared x du now this is the same as the integral of that's the same as the integral of u raised power 4 i know that sine squared x is 1 minus cos squared x so that's what i'm writing 1 minus cos squared x du and this is the same as u raised power 4 times 1 minus u squared since u is cos x this means the integral of u raised power 4 minus u raised power 6 du. 
minus u s power 6 du which simply means u raised power 5 over 5 minus u raised power 7 over 7 plus c and finally that's equal to cos raised power 5x over 5 minus cos raised power 7x over 7 plus c yeah let's see what else can we take what else can we take um let's take this evaluate the integral of what else can we take evaluate the integral of 2x cubed 2x cubed divided by 2x 2x minus 1 dx okay we can see that this is an improper fraction so the first thing to do is to divide the denominator by the the numerator by the denominator and that means 2x cubed divided by 2x minus 1 and then we go this is simply x squared now we multiply we have 2x cubed minus x squared we go again 2x minus x is 0 and this is x squared we have x squared divided by 2x is x over 2 when we multiply we have x squared minus x over 2 we subtract again x squared minus x squared is 0 and we are left with x over 2 down here we are left with x over 2 now x over 2 divided by 2x is 1 over 4 when we multiply we have x over 2 minus 1 over 4 and then we subtract to have x over 2 minus x over 2 is 0 and we are left with 1 over 4 so that simply means 2x 2x cubed divided by 2x minus 1 is the same as x squared plus x over 2 plus 1 over 4 that's the quotient x squared plus x over 2 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 4 divided by 2x minus 1 and this is simply this is the same as x squared plus x over 2 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 4 times 2x minus 1 so that means the integral of 2x cubed divided by 2x minus 1 with respect to x is the same as the integral of x squared plus x over 2 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 4 1 over 4 times 2x minus 1 with respect to x and that simply means x raised to the power 3 over 3 plus x squared over 4 plus 1 over 4x and then plus let's check that how do we integrate quickly the integral of 1 over 4 times 2x minus 1 is the same as let's see is the same as uh the same as 1 over 4 multiplied by the integral of 1 over 4 times 2x minus 1 and that means 1 over 4 multiplied by the integral of 4 you no know, let me write this as 1 over 4 times 4 over the correct uh oh i already brought that out that's the same as the integral of 1 over 2 times 2 over 2x oh, there's no 4 here anymore i already brought it out so i'm left with yes that's it the integral of 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 times 2 over 2x minus 1 with respect to x and when you bring 1 over 4 outside then you have 1 over 8 multiplied by the integral of 2 over 2x minus 1 with respect to x which is the same as 1 over 8 lean 2x minus 1 
So that's also just to show us how the answer is obtained. 1 over 8 means 2x minus 1. So that's the answer. Plus 1 over 8. Plus 1 over 8 means 2x minus 1 plus c. And that's the answer simply. Can we take a couple more? Uh, let's see. Maybe a few more. Let's see. Evaluate. Evaluate the integral of 4 plus x divided by. Evaluate the integral of that actually 4 minus x divided by. Divided by 4 plus x with respect to x. Now here, let's make u 4 plus x. If u is 4 plus x, that means du dx. Du dx is 1. <coughs> du dx is 1. And that means du is the same as dx. Du dx is 1. And that means d is the same as dx. So we substitute the integral of 4 minus x over 4 plus x with respect to x is the same as the integral of 4 minus, if u is 4 plus x, that means x is u minus 4. So I'm going to have that as 4 minus u minus 4 divided by u divided by u with respect to x D, dx in this case is du and now we have the integral of 4 minus u plus 4 divided by u with respect to u which is the same as the integral of 8 minus u the integral of 8 minus u divided by u with respect to u and that means the integral of 8 over u minus 1 with respect to u and this simply means 8 lean u minus u plus c which is 8 lean u is 4 plus x minus no i think i can just write minus 4 plus x no 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 minus 4 plus x plus c and that is 8 lean 4 plus x minus x minus 4 plus c minus x minus 4 plus c and that's the answer very very simple any other one what else okay all right that's gonna be it i hope you understand i hope you understood everything thank you very much for watching please subscribe to this channel if you have not already done so and eat the bell icon to get notifications every time a new video is uploaded thank you very much stay safe and stay blessed